YouTube, this is JP963 here. Hello everybody out there. Um, tonight I'd, I'd like to share with everybody uh, some deals that I, I run across today in a thrift store. And uh, I'd I always try to encourage everybody while making preparations or getting different types of supplies. Um, you really don't have to spend a whole lot of money and uh, like I said these are just some items that I've run across today and uh, after I show you everything I'll I'll give you a grand total of how much I spent on all this stuff so uh, first off I'd like to start off with some of these these books that I run across uh, some you never know what you're gonna you're gonna find in thrift stores so uh, this first one is a pocket handbook of infectious agents and their treatments this next one is a uh, vitamins minerals and other supplements the basic book of organic gardening and that's a I've looked through this one. This has got a lot of good information on just about every type of vegetable you can think of. And um, this right here has got a lot of maps in it. So I thought this might be useful. It has world maps, uh, a lot of different information, and also got state maps. And this is a handbook of common poisonings in children this right here is like a complete guide uh, for like insect bites spider bites or uh, poisonings by medication or drugs or different types of uh, reactions to plants and stuff like that uh, this actually goes into detail of uh, describing uh, the different treatments general treatments um, patient monitoring how much is toxic dose signs and symptoms uh, different types of testing that'll be needed in that situation but it's got all kinds of information I thought that was a really nice book to find um, let's see a Hershey's Cocoa Cookbook. Thought that was pretty interesting. Um, this here, my wife is a uh, part Cherokee, and uh, she actually wanted this. This is a uh, pretty interesting because uh, it gives uh, the Indian history of the American West, and this is the Indians' version of how the West was won. That's pretty neat. And this is another Indian book. This one is about uh, what the Indians went through when they uh, went on the Trail of Tears. That was pretty interesting. Next is a veterinary handbook for cattlemen. Who knows? This may come in handy. I don't have any cows right now, but in a survival type situation. It may be handy to have a little information on raising cows. And let's see. I already know how to canoe. I have three. But I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, this is basic canoeing. It's got first aid and all kinds of... It actually shows you how to build a canoe and everything in here. Uh, cutting it out of trees. Different types. Um carving it big ones blueprints dimensions so I thought that was a pretty useful book and this right here is called the children's doctor so this right here is a lot of uh, different information 
about uh, different phases that kids go through and how you can go about dealing with certain types of situations. Of course, me being a father, I figured this would be pretty useful to have. And let's see, this is American history. Who knows? We may get to the point where we have to teach our own kids, so I figured it'd be good to know a little bit about American history. And some, we found a whole bunch of medical supplies. We found some uh, medical roll on deodorant. Uh, we found a heavy duty poncho. We found these pretty neat little cases. They're split up into compartments, two sides, and then on the bottom, this slides out. Who knows, it might be useful for something in our, our backpack. This is a big old pack of 9x10 and other assorted huge bandages. I think we counted them, there's like almost 70 here. And some lemon eucalyptus repel, plant based. And a whole other assortment of round bandages, small bandages, all kinds of different little bandages and stuff. But anyways, I'd just like to encourage everybody to uh, look for bargains, because you can always run across bargains. And to let y'all know the grand total on all this stuff that we spent today, between all the medical supplies, repel, the little cases, poncho, deodorant, and all these books, we spent nine dollars. That's it, nine bucks. So, thank y'all for joining me. I'd like to remind everybody, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Times are hard for everybody. But there's good bargains out there. You just know where to shop. So I, I definitely recommend yard sales or flea markets or thrift stores found all this today at the thrift store for nine dollars. I'd just like to remind everybody to cherish your friends and your family because what you have today might not be here tomorrow. Y'all take care, be safe, and God bless. Thanks for watching.